Washington Local Edition. My name is Brad Pomerantz. We thank you so much for joining us. Our guest is Reza Abashian. Reza is the Dean of the School of Engineering at the University of California at Riverside. Sir, thank you so much for joining us. We appreciate it. Thank you. UCR, since its inception, has always been a great friend of the city of Riverside. And I want to talk to you about the relationship that's been formed between the UCR School of Engineering yeah. and the city of Riverside. It's a great one. Well, yes, we are very proud of our relationship. In fact, our former chancellor, Ray Orbach, coined the phrase of honest broker mm. in describing the relations that should exist between university, government, and industry. And of course, we take all the work that we do, research we do, in serving the society as an honest broker. As an example is the partnership that we have uh, formed with the city of Riverside, Riverside Public Utilities, in addressing, addressing the needs of the region. So for example, yeah. I understand one of the programs that you've partnered with mm -hmm. deals with biosolids right. and converting biosolids. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Explain. Well, we, we have uh, our faculty members in our Center for Environmental Research and Technology, and the scientists in that center have developed a technology that takes the biosolids and converts it to diesel fuel. Mm. Now, we have started a program in collaboration with the city that we take the city's biosolids from solid waste treatment plants, mix it with green waste, and set up a pilot scale production that will convert it to diesel fuel. I mean, it's yeah. a win-win. Yeah. UCR benefits, yeah. the city benefits, the environment benefits. Yeah. What more could you ask for? Well, that's our mission. That's what we do in our college. You know. Very exciting development. Um, you're about to build, or, or you have built, I yes. believe, a new facility. Yeah. Talk to us about this $56 million complex. Well, that complex is about material science and engineering. Uh, as you know, materials have always played an important role in economics, security, and well-being of nations throughout history. Because of that, different periods are named after materials. Age of bronze, uh, copper age, no iron age. Industrial now, age. Industri now we live at the age of advanced materials. Mm -hmm. So what we are doing now, building materials from ground up, designing and creating from atomic level, so that they form the functions that we demand these materials to uh, perform and uh, deliver. Look at cell phones, look at TVs, look at cars. Look. So all these are based on advanced materials. So what we have done is come up with the synergistic relations between our faculty members, faculty members from College of Natural and Agricultural mm -hmm. Sciences, to address the materials needs of the country. And this new complex is surely helping yeah, to advance yeah. those programs. Yeah. As we conclude, I want to talk to you yeah. about an award that your school recently yeah. received. I think it's fair to say some people believe that engineers are kind of monolithic, but not at UCR. Not at UCR. As you know, UC Riverside um, among the UC system is the most diverse campus, and we are proud of that. In College of Engineering, we are also proud of what we do in training diverse students. And you won, yeah. and if I may say, yeah. just as we yeah. conclude, yeah. the Claire Fell uh, Binger, yeah. did I say it right? Yes. Award for Diversity. From ABET, one of the three universities in the country that received that award. Congratulations. Thank, Thank you, you for joining us. For Local Edition, I'm Brad Pomerantz. Back to CNN HLN.